I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your dumbbell total body strength workout. So in this workout, we'll work the entire body for both strength and cardio, but we're gonna focus on strengthening using both uh, your traditional moves, working full range of motion, and some isometric moves where we're doing some static holds and putting them together. So all you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start with just a quick little warm up. Make sure your dumbbells are out of the way. Today, I'm gonna to be alternating between some 10 pound dumbbells and some eight pound. You do what's best for you. If you have only have one set, don't worry, I will give you some options. Roll those shoulders to the back and then to the front. And big deep breath in and out so let's take our arms out to the side and we're just going to rotate side to side so think about leaning into that side lunge watch me and flipping my hands so i really rotate through those shoulders and through our wrists and elbows and then let's take it over little gentle lean into the side lunge four three two walk those feet in let's go flat back down and round it up. I always like to roll through our back, warm it up, right? Hold it down here. Just gentle push out as we roll the shoulders for, forward for the back. Gentle push out on those legs, right? Breathe. Walk those feet in, round it up, and just little taps across as we reach across. So really stretch through those fingertips, long through the arms, Take it over your head. There we go. And breathe. Let's bring those knees up. So remember in the warm-up, dynamic warm-up, we're just trying to get the muscles warm, get the blood flowing, get some rotations and lengthening, stretching through those muscles. We're gonna get more of a stretch of a cool down at the end. Hamstring curls to the back. As always, if you need more of a warm-up, Please get it on your own. We're gonna keep it short so we can get right into that workout. And then just stretch those legs forward. Little toy soldier kicks. We'll lengthen through the back of the legs gently before we get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my dumbbells, shake it all out. Bend your knees to get those dumbbells. I'll always remind you to do that so you're not bending in the back. I'm gonna grab my heavier dumbbells and we're gonna start with your very basic lunge. So one foot forward, one foot back. I'm gonna angle it so you can see just a bit. So think about that 90 degree on both sides. It feels like you're a little wide at the top, but when we drop it down, we're here to here. So here we go. So we're dropping it down, bring it up. So our first set through each of these, we're gonna keep it pretty basic, just like your regular all the way through that full range of motion with a few isometric holds at the end. Our second set, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Core's in tight, keep breathing. Let's go down and up, Woo! Push into that front heel, shoulders back, chest is lifted. Four more right here, four, three, two, Let's hold this one down. So as low as you can go without completely resting down there, right? Keep it about here. We're just holding cores in tight, shoulders back, hold for four, three, two, bring it up right here. So let's take it right into bicep curls. All the way down, all the way up. Watch me here, my core is in tight, curling towards my shoulders, keeping those wrists straight, up and down. Here we go, up. So we're gonna move through these circuits pretty quickly. I'm gonna give you breathers and time to get water, but certainly if you need it, get it on your own. Let's go four more. You can always hit pause. You can always take a break. You can always alternate with these two if you need to. One more and relax. Okay, let's get that other leg. So again, because we're moving quickly, it should also keep that heart rate up to get that cardio, that fat burning as well while we're focusing on strength. Here we go, drop it down, bring it up, core's in tight. So what I mean by that is to really engage, pull that deep core in, and even though those weights are down by our sides, we're making sure they're not pulling us forward, 
Keep those eyes up, chest lifted. Push into that front heel. Both legs are working, but your front leg has the control. Here we go, right here. Down and up. And breathe. Four more, right here. Four, three, two. How about we hold it down right here? So just hold, core's in tight, weight in that front heel as low as you can go without resting for four, three, two, relax. Okay, palms in, and we're gonna do hammer curl up and down. So it looks the same, except our palms are facing in. Same set of muscles, just different angle. A little bit more forearms, which is important to strengthen for wrist health and elbow. And breathe. Again, you can always alternate one at a time if you need to. Let's go four, three, or together. Two, and one. Okay, so drop them down for just a second. Bend your knees, stretch them back, little taps out. Here's what it's gonna look, at, look like, guys. So you can get a little stretch and tap or jog it out if you wanna keep that heart rate up. So we're gonna do our regular lunge for eight. At the bottom, we're gonna hold. We're gonna do a little lift off for the back. So you can make it a glute squeeze, but it's more about the isolation. Lift off to the back for eight. Lift off to the front for eight. Then we're gonna go into those dumbbells. We're gonna go eight regular with our bicep curl. Then we're gonna hold one all the way through the range of motion for eight. Hold one all the way through for eight. Then we'll get that other leg. Okay, so now you know what we're doing. Let's do it. Bend those knees to get those dumbbells. One foot forward, eight regular with those lunges. Here we go. And if you're going slower than me and you get less than eight, that's totally fine. You just be where you are today. I'm glad that you showed up. Here we go. Four, three, two, Let's hold this one down right here. Little push off the front heel, little lift of the back leg. Eight, down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down, stay down there, here we go. We're gonna push off the back and then lift that front leg. Here we go, eight, seven, six, power off the front, five, four, Three, two, one. All right. Woo, burn. Okay. Catch your breath. We're going to give the legs a break. Eight singles. You can do hammer or you can do regular. It's up to you. Here we go. Eight with curls. Seven. Abs in tight. Six. You can put one foot back if you want. Five. How's that heart rate? Mine is pumping. Four. Three. Two. Here we go. All right, guys, bring one halfway down. Looks like this, the other one, full range of motion. Eight, seven, here's what we're not doing, keeping in here, that's cheating. Six, level, five, yeah. Four, three, two, good. Switch them here. Here we go, hold this one. Other one, eight. Seven. Again, I know it's tempting to come here, but we're gonna keep it here. Four more. Four, three, two, Ooh, right? <laughs> Shake that out, right? Ah, we feel that. Those isometric holds are hard. All right, team. So, other foot forward, eight regular lunge, eight lift the back, eight lift the front. Controlled the whole time. You can go slower than me if you need to. Core's in tight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it down right here. Find that balance. Little lift. Eight, low, seven. You're staying low the whole time. This is from the bottom. Four more. Four, three, two, hold it low right here. Here we go, push off the front. Eight, I know that's harder. Seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, yes. <laughs> Drop those dumbbells down gently, bend your knees, shake them out, jog it out, grab a sip of water if you need it, and we'll come right back to it. So tap through them. I'm gonna show you our next little circuit. You can tap it, you can jog it, whatever you need. Take a real rest if you want. Okay, team. All right, so with both of our dumbbells, we're gonna take it in that plie. Regular set, you can hold them here, you can hold them down here. And then we're gonna take it, whew, better show you with dumbbells, to a bent over row. So flat back, soft knees, row is here. Just like this, squeeze and up. Then we're gonna take it to a regular squat, sitting low, some holds at the end. We'll probably drop one dumbbell and just do one, make it a goblet squat. Then we're gonna do all those with some holds at the bottom. So here, we're gonna lift those heels. Here, we're gonna hold one up and go through the range of motion with the other and switch. And then low, we're gonna lift the toes in the regular squat. Don't worry, I know that sounds like a lot. I'm gonna talk you through it. Go ahead and grab those heavy dumbbells. Hopefully you're still tapping it out. Toes out, core's in tight. Dumbbells can be here or here. Drop it low to high, squeeze it up, down, and up. there we go. Squeeze up through the center. Think inner thighs and glutes, abs in tight. Breathe, yes. My legs are already tired. <laughs> here we go. Keep squeezing up through the center. Breathe. Last four right here. Four, three, two. Can we hold it down for eight? Here we go, just hold eight, seven, six, stay low. Five, four, three, two, shake it out. All right, bend over row. So roll those shoulders back, soft knees, flat back down, both elbows come up, squeeze. Looks like this. My eyes are gonna stay up, but I'm keeping my back flat. So it almost feels like I'm arching my back, but I'm not. Squeeze, breathe. What we wanna avoid is this, right? So eyes up. Last three, last two, one more, all the way up. Okay, so toes forward, drop one of your dumbbells. Hold that goblet squat either here or here. Toes forward, sit low in that squat. Here we go. Down and up. And breathe. There we go. Yes. Down. Squeeze. Breathe. Eight. Drop those hips. Seven. Six. And as always, you can always take the dumbbells out of it if you need to. Four, three, two, one more, and relax. Okay, grab that other dumbbell. This time, let's take it to a wide row. So shoulders back, hinge at the hips, watch me here. Up and down, squeeze, breathe. We're not gonna do very many. We got those ISO holds coming up. Breathe, flat back. Last four. Four, three, two, one. And relax all the way up. Okay, here we go, team. Whew. All right, let's take those toes out. I know that heart is pumping. Regular plie for eight. Then we're gonna hold and we'll lift the heels. This one's not so bad, right? Okay, drop it down. Eight, squeeze up. Seven, six. We're getting through these quickly, so they're short sets, even though they burn, right? Four, three, two. Hold it down, lift those heels. Up, seven, one at a time. Six, burn. Five, keep that core in tight, stay low. Three, two, one, relax, right, woo! 
Okay, roll those shoulders back, hinge at the hips, flat back down, regular row for eight. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, get ready to hold, two, let's hold one of them up, let's say right, here we go, left for eight, seven, you're keeping it up, squeezing that shoulder blade, elbow to the back, all the way down, all the way up with the left, four, three, two, hold that left one up nice and tight, here we go for right, eight, all the way down, all the way up, seven, six, keep that back flat, five, all the way down, four, three, two, one, and relax, Woo, right, one to the side, grab it for that goblet squat, you're either here or here or no weights, I know your heart is pumping, but you can do it, just get through the circuit, toes forward, sit low for eight, eight, drop it down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it down right here guys, okay? Lift those toes up. You're gonna move a little bit, that's okay. Breathe, keep that chest lifted. Four, toes, three, even if you're just wiggling in your shoes, two, and relax. Woo! All right, grab that second dumbbell. One last row, wide row, here we go. Shoulders back, drop it down, here we go. Eight, seven. As you can tell, we're working that lower back too, so keep that core in. Four, three, two, hold that right one up. Here we go. Eight, down, seven, keep that elbow high. Six, oh, I know it's hard. Five, four, three, two, hold it up. Here we go. Eight, don't lose that form. Seven, six, focus on that core. Five, four, three, two, yes. Catch your breath. Drop those dumbbells down. Oh, roll those shoulders. Breathe. Woo. Tap it out, jog it out, whatever you need to do. Grab a sip of water. Our last circuit up top. We're gonna keep it kind of short, guys. Lighter dumbbells if you got them or we'll go to one, I'll show you how. Okay, so with those lighter dumbbells, I'm grabbing my eights. If you have eights or fives, or whatever is light for you. Side lunge, we're just gonna step through it, side to side, alternating. That's all we're gonna do on the first. Then we're gonna go right into it. So we're gonna hold the right up, left to the side for eight. And then we'll switch, hold the left up, right to the side. Then we're gonna go stationary, just keeping it really low with some pulses, and then we'll switch it. Hold it out to the side, up to the front, okay. I'm gonna give you some options if that feels too heavy for you, so don't stress, because it's gonna be heavy for me too. All right, roll those shoulders back, catch your breath, step into that side lunge, down to the right, dumbbells on each side. So drive those hips back, I know everything's tired, and breathe. We're about to go down to the mat. Breathe, side lunge. Get deep into that hip, straight leg, bent leg. Eight, up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, get those arms ready. Right one up to the top, left one up for eight. Seven, I know it's hard. Let me give you an alternative. You keep going if you can. Just holding here for six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax and down, tap it up. We're gonna do the same thing, other side. Remember, you can just hold if you want. Here we go, up, eight, seven, I know that's hard. Six, again, you can just hold. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Oh, that was hard. I didn't even do all of it. All right, guys, here we go. So feet nice and wide, stationary. We're gonna take it low without stepping into it. Here we go, down and down. So you're low and low, flat back. Staying low the whole time, stepping, not stepping. Let's go eight, seven, six. Keep that chest up, shoulders back. Five, four, three, two. Hold it here, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Other side right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax. All right, guys. So the opposite. We're going to hold out to the side. Lift from here. Here we go. Eight, seven. You can do it. Six, five. Just hold if you want. Four, three. Hold to the front. Two, one, relax, I'm done. You can tell as I get tired, my arms want to drop. Focus in that core. Out to the side, here we go. Eight, seven, six, takes a little brain power, right? Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Woo! Okay, tap it out, roll those shoulders, grab a quick sip of water, meet me down on the mat. Nice work, team. There's a couple more things to go. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go down on the mat. We're gonna get a little bit of core while we re-rest those arms and legs. So let's have hands here and feet here. And we're just gonna bring everything in, elbows to touch the knees, open everything out. So you're getting a little bonus, inner thighs, outer thighs. Squeeze in, squeeze out. Feet can either be crossed or feet together. Squeeze and out and breathe. Just a little bonus core. Pull that deep core in. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Okay, so since we're here with or without the dumbbells, we're just going to do a bridge. So our circuits down here. Whew, we, you have some options on dumbbells. So dumbbells can be here, lift and lower. I know those legs are tired. So if you want, you can drop them both or just drop one. You can hold one right in the center. Lift up and squeeze. First set, we're just doing everything regular like we did before. Squeeze. Let's go four more. Four, three, two, one and relax. Okay, I'm gonna slide forward a little bit. All right, so then let's stay here. Let's lift these up for a regular chest press. Up and in, down and out. You can rest those legs. If you wanna add a little bit of core, just put those feet up in tabletop. It's up to you. First set regular, then we're mixing it up. Breathe, squeeze. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. So like I said, we're keeping these sets short. Okay, so let's keep these feet here. Let's just do a little toe taps. Again, little bonus core while we rest our arms and legs. So as you may have predicted, we are going to do a regular bridge, hold one, lift the other. I'll show you what that looks like. And then with that chest press, we'll do regular press, hold one, and then full range of motion with the other each side, eight, eight, and eight. Four more with that core. Four, three, two, and relax. Okay, with or without dumbbells on this bridge, I'm gonna go without. So here we go, you can hold them here, hold one. Lift up for eight, seven. What we're gonna do is as we move through that stationary and that moving, we're gonna make the core work a little harder. Three, two, so your goal, hold it all the way up. Hold it up with that right leg. Knee comes in and out. So it's leg, but it's more core. Keep that bridge working. Four more. Four. 
three, two, one. Drop it down, keep lifting, here we go. In, out, stay up. Four, three, two, one. Relax it down, yeah, bring those up. Stretch through that hamstring to get a little stretch. Let's just add a little scissors. I sometimes put this, I often put this after a hamstring bridge so you can get that core working, but also stretch out through those hamstrings. Flex the foot, lift the shoulders if you can. Four, three, two, one. Good. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Let's get ready for that chest press. Again, you can keep everything down or up in a tabletop. Eight regular. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, so bring one halfway down, not all the way on the ground, elbow up, and here we go for eight, up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop them down. Good. All right, team. So breathe. Let's keep it here. We're going to go back to that toe tap, but I want you to take it to that dead bug because we're going to stay here. We got one more upper body and a little bit of core. Here we go. And then reach it out. Lengthen if you can. Core. I know this is hard because those legs are tired. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Okay. I'm switching to my lighter. Here's what we're going to do, guys. Grab them here. Let's go regular triceps. Again, feet can be down. Feet can be up. Let's give them a little break. Triceps, we're bending down by the el elbows, bending, dumbbells coming down by the ears, up. So watch me, my elbows are staying right above the shoulders. What I'm not doing is moving forward and back with those shoulders, elbows are staying in place. I know our arms are tired, but we are so close to being done. Four more, four, three, two, one, relax them down. You can guess how that's gonna be on the isos, right? Okay, so bring it up into that dead bug. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my left hand, left leg, push that left hand into the left knee, opposing forces, so they're pushing against each other, and then take the right out for eight. Keep that push. Seven, deep core. Six, push that stationary knee and hand into each other. Four, three, two, one, switch it here. Right hand pushing as the right knee pushes back. Here we go, eight, seven, breathe out of the top, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, right? You feel that deep core. Okay, last thing, upper body, you know it. We're gonna go eight. Then we're gonna hold one halfway down at about a 90 degree angle, full range of motion for the other for eight, and then switch. You got it, team. This is gonna be fun, it's gonna burn, but you are getting so much stronger. Here we go, regular for eight. Focus on that full range of motion, elbows right above the shoulders, not moving. Breathe, here we go. Four, three, two, one, okay, you got this. Bend halfway, keep it here. Eight, if at any point you feel like you're gonna drop that dumbbell, just take it down to the side, don't worry about it. Here we go, I know, four, three, two, ah! Bring them both up, I know that burns. Again, stay safe, if you don't feel safe holding that up, drop one ball down, dumbbell down, or just do both, or take a break, here we go. Other one, halfway down. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, ah, three, two, one. <laughs> Ah, reach those up, big stretch. We are so close to being done. All right, turn onto your side, dumbbells out of the way. The king or queen of the isometric moves is of course your planks. So let's just do some holds, guys. We don't have to do anything with it. Just hold everything nice and tight, elbow beneath the shoulder. I know that elbow's burning, right, from those triceps. Core's pulled in, only holding about 20 seconds. Breathe, 10 to go. So close to being done. And then we will get a stretch. And then you did it. Whew, bring it down, swing those legs around the other side. Isn't it interesting how it's a strength workout. We didn't do any cardio per se, bring it up and hold, but our hearts were pumping. When you are challenging your muscles and you're lifting weights, specifically if you can go a little heavier and be challenged, you are going to get that heart pumping. There is no need to do a lot of separate extra cardio. You can get it all in. Most of my videos are just like this. Drop it down. Last one on our front, front plank, elbows pull up and in, everything in nice and tight. Hold it here. Keep breathing. I lied. Let's do the right leg. Lift eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch it here. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax, stretch it back, you did it, woo, breathe. Good, and bring it up. Let's take those knees out, feet in, let your head and neck drop. I hope you felt that as much as I did and were challenged in a different way. We get so used to just those regular full range of motion, which are great. As you know, we do it in a lot of videos. Lean it here, breathe into it. But sometimes those holds can be just as challenging, if not more, in a different way. And particularly when we put them together. Breathe. Let's go on the other side. Here we go. Take those arms forward, chin to your chest. As always, get more of a stretch and a cool down on your own. Even if you think you don't need it, it's always good to get a little extra stretch. Thumbs back, grab behind. Let's take fingertips down. You're stretching through the forearm and the wrist and then let your head drop the opposite side so you stretch through the neck. Head and neck, shoulders. And a little bit of biceps. And other side. And then let's come here onto our feet. So come onto your knees, roll halfway back, keep a little bend, and then just pedal those feet, lift those heels. Slowly roll it up. Some big rolls through the shoulders. Open it up wide here, lean. Toe up. And lean. Toe up. Here we go. One big deep breath in. And out. You did it. That was your dumbbell total body strength workout. Great job, everybody.